Consider this. After the Obama administration decided last week to send small arms to Syrian rebels, U.S. oil prices rose to levels not seen since last September, climbing to more than $98 a barrel. Up until $100, uh, I think we can sort of take it in stride. Once you get beyond $100, uh, then everybody begins to notice. Uh, and then that begins to change the way people behave. Economics and, professor George Georgiou you know, says America imports but a drop of oil in a bucket from Syria. The real issue for Americans, if the Syrian conflict becomes regional, spilling into neighboring countries such as Saudi Arabia, Jordan and Turkey, a price spike in global oil, according to analysts, will become a given. Eventually it will, you know, go through the, the, the system and it'll show up in supermarkets and obviously at the gas pump. Think you're paying a lot for fresh fruits and vegetables now? Well, farmers are so dependent on oil for production and transportation that a big jump at the pump could be felt at your dining table as well. A Pew Research survey finds 70 percent of Americans are opposed to arming Syrian rebels. Hopefully we'll be a little more cautious with how involved we get, how involved we get. A red line for us. President Obama's policy is not clear-cut, and it took more than two years to formulate. He wants Syrian President Bashar al-Assad out, but Obama refuses to fortify rebels with heavy artillery, or thus far, to create a no-fly zone around Syria. What's happening in Syria right now could easily spread, uh, and if it spreads, then you know we are in danger of facing disruptions and uh, significant price increases. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.